Hello students, this is Mr. Anderson. Um, I had someone ask me about how to make P10-13 uh, for the CAD 200 class. It's where you're going to be uh, converting the right side view into a half section. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, and this is the drawing, you know, I drew this up ahead of time, so, you know, you guys know how to get this far. Um, I don't have the dimensions and stuff on here yet, but uh, that shouldn't be too difficult to get done. But let me show you. Uh, if you read the chapter, uh, a half section is basically you're cutting a quarter, this section right here, you're cutting a quarter of it out. You're just removing that. So this right here is going to be hatched where these lines cut through okay so what we're going to do is uh, with a half section uh, there will be no hidden lines so we'll need to keep that in mind while we're doing this so what we need to do we're going to hatch h-a-t-c-h -H. come on h-a-t-c-h -H. We're going to pick our metal, which is aluminum, which is ANSI 38, which is aluminum and magnesium. And I can see right now our scale should be, let's try four. Okay, let's try 75 has it, yes. And we're going to do it here, and we're going to do it here. That is the only parts that will get sectioned. Okay, so now we're going to remove these lines. I'm going to use this line to trim this guy right here, oops, do it in the correct order and you'll get it done faster. It's been a long day. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Next, we're going to turn these guys into object lines because when you cut into this, you're going to see this line right here, which is this guy here, okay? And then from here to here is fed into that. And then, of course, this line is also the same diameter as that. But the inside of this is this guy right here, okay? And then on the outside, oh, let me take care of this. This is not going to be visible. And this, I should trim. And my computer's wanting to lock up on me. Let me do this. Trim. Select. 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 I think right here. Okay. And then that will go away. Because what we're seeing out here is the outside of this view right here. Okay. Clear as mud. Now I didn't radius the ends because it doesn't give a radius. Although I I radius this. So let me go ahead and uh, add fill it. Okay. What we're going to do is arrow down, radius, I've got it set at 10, okay, and do it again, and do it again, oh, I lost that line somewhere along the way, 
And let me draw it here real quick. Object. Now I'm going to do this again so that I can do it all as one hatch. And we're still on that. And there we are. So that's how it should look. Now, for dimensioning. Um, dimensioning, we should have this as annotative. Let's get the correct one here, because it is a metric drawing. So. <laughs> Come on, it's being a, a, a jerk for me. So, let's try this again. There we go. Now, why aren't those set? Hold on. Trailing zeros should always be, especially on There we go. Much better. So, scale that. And there's that one. There's that one. Oh, in the inside hole. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we don't need any dimensions on this side. We can. Um, you can put this as a note if you wanted to. Nope, not that. If you want to put a note in there that says um, all fillets are radius 10, that's fine. But it didn't give you that in, this, in the book, so I'm not going to worry too terribly much about it. So we need uh, this dimension. We need this dimension. And we need this dimension. Because if you do the app, the math there, that'll tell you everything you need to know for that one right there. Now, for this, we do right there. And this is pretty much a no-brainer. 125 from 250 is 125. So, there you have it. It's completely dimension. Then we go to my metric. Oh, let me get out of that. Command. Click on the metric. Here we are. Um, get rid of those.
those guys. Get rid of the grid. And that's how it should look. Uh, for scale, this is going to be quarter scale. See down here in my uh, dimension scale or your viewport scale manager. I typically will lock this once I've got the dimensions where I want them and everything. And um, yeah, it's done. So we put the quarter scale, put the assignment, which would be uh, B10-13. And there you go. So this is a half scale or a half section. It's 11.51 p.m. I'm just trying to get this done for tonight. <laughs> so thank you for watching. And uh, as always, uh, my students, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, contact me. Uh, and again, this is from the, uh, the book, um, Engineering Graphics Essentials with AutoCAD 2020 Instruction from Chapter 10. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.